Let me help you out. Not with my brothers. I can never rule with my own kind. Right. E e even if you cut my flesh, yeah. see? Watch this right here. So let, let me help you. You say you want war, war, but there's a way that you got to go. It's a way that you have to do it. Watch this. Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Read up. Gather yourselves together. All right, so the Bible says gather yourself together. Get yourself together. Get your mind together. Read. Yay, gather together. Then come together with people with the like mind. All right, read. Oh, nation, not desire. That's why you want war, because we that nation is not desired on the planet anywhere. Right. Right? You say they've been lying to us about everything. I agree. They've lied to us about everything. That's right. Right? But where do we find the truth in the matter? Is it osmosis? Does it just you wake up and you got an understanding of some new deep stuff that nobody else has an understanding of? Like, how, how does that help all of us? with a private interpretation. You know what I want? Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this verse, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So we rule out private interpretation because the Most High God doesn't do things in private like that. He's not going to tell one person in the earth, listen, you know that leaf is half H2O and this and that. He's not going to do that. Right. You understand? It says no scripture is any private interpretation. That eliminates the pastor saying, I got a, a revelation from Christ. A revelation from God. It don't work like that. Read. Verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So there's no man in the old time mentioned in this Bible that just had an epiphany and came up with something. Right? It's an order to how we get the understanding of things. Watch this. But holy men of God. It says holy men. So holy means separated. There's a, 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 a order that you must be doing before you can even be considered holy. There's laws and statutes that you have to be applying yourself or applying to your life for you to be considered holy, all right? So it says holy men, read, holy men of God spake. Holy men of God spake, meaning they had already met the criteria and then they opened up their mouth and spoke, read, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost as they got the understanding through these scriptures. All right? So now, go to 2 Ezra 4 and 4. Watch this. I got a question for you. I want to test out your knowledge. Because no. this is a question that was asked to one of the prophets. All right? Watch this. 2 Ezra 4 verse 4. Watch this. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 4, verse 4. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one. So, I want you to, to declare this. I want you to reach into what, wherever you're reaching from and give me this understanding. Yeah. Watch this. I will show thee also the way that thou desirest to see, and I shall show thee from whence the wicked heart cometh. So the Most High said, he's going to show us these things, but it's a criteria if you do what's asked of you. He's going to show you these things, but can you get it on your own? Watch this. Verse 5. And I said, tell on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, go thy way. Weigh me the weight of the fire. So, I want you to reach wherever you're reaching and tell me the weight of fire. The weight of fire. That's, that's, that ain't good enough. You saying, I, I, I can Maybe yeah. I don't know. Okay, good. You say you don't know. See, we, you learn from a, a male. Can, can nobody make me believe I came from somebody real? You see, I learned from a woman. As in W-O-M-E. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I didn't come from nobody real. I came from... You know what I want, um, uh, women? Yeah, the, the man is... You got it? You got it? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he followed me. He tracked me. <laughs> All right, so we, we got to break this down for you, bro, because... We ain't in subjection to no women. That's right. right. You understand that? We ain't in no subjection to no women. The most I didn't create us to be in subjection to a woman. That's right. Ever. Right. You said subjection? Subjection. Oh, subjection. Okay. Yeah, meaning submit to a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I heard it wrong. You, you found it? No, I didn't say submit. No, you're saying that you, you're learning everything yeah. from a woman, right? Yes. Watch this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. For the man is not of the woman. All right? You hear that? The man is not of the woman. I know what's in your mind. Well, we came out of a woman. My mother, I, I was birthed from a woman. All right? Watch this. Read it again. For the man is not of the woman. We ain't of the woman. Read. But the 
woman of the man. How's the woman of the man? What you just said. Can't nobody make me believe that a, a, a woman came from my rib. But this is exactly what the Bible is saying. The woman came from the man. Now, let me ask you a question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't even eat chicken. I don't know. Right, it's just, just a plain question. Which 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 one comes first? Uh, the I'm just asking a simple question. Do you get an egg first or do you get a chicken? Whoever created what? The egg and the chicken. I'm, that's a little bit deeper. Which one? When they were created, which one was created first? The egg or the chicken? I would say the egg. You would say the egg. All right, the Bible says something different. That's right. Let, let me show you what the Bible says, because you know that we have to originate from something. Yeah, but right? that, that's just me guessing. I, I, I got you. So I'm just I'm just helping you overstand the simplicity in the Bible. Do the um, Genesis, Genesis uh, 2 and 1. No, 7, I'm sorry. Watch this. Let's find out, did the Most High create woman first, or did he create man first? Because there's an order to things. Just like, right. just like, the egg didn't come first The woman didn't come first Watch this Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 And the Lord God formed man Formed what? Formed man of the dust of the ground So the first man that ever walked on the earth Because man come from somewhere It came from somewhere So the first man had to come from somewhere He had to be created by something Right? So the first man, where did he come from? From the, excuse me, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So context clues. If you dig right here, the deeper you dig, what, what, what does the soil look like? What color is it? Brown. And the deeper you dig, the darker it gets. So the first man that was created on the earth was a black man. Right. And the woman didn't come first. The most I, the most... We, we understand that the Most High created man first. Watch this. So he want to be deep. Go to Genesis 1 and 27. Watch this. Watch this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. So what does that mean? It said God created man in his own image. What does that mean? Yeah, that's, that's, as, that's as far as you can see. Right, but it says that we were created in the image of God, meaning everything about us, our thinking, the things that we do, the things that we eat, they pertain to the Most High God. We were given that knowledge, right? All knowledge was given to Adam, right? To Adam, right? Let me let me hit you up with something. Keep reading. In the image of God created He Him. In the image of God created He Him. Who is that Him that God created in His image? According to the scripture, you correct, but right here in this passage, who was the first man? What was his name? Adam. All right, Adam. Read that part again. In the image of God created he, him. So that him that was created in the image of God is who? Adam. Now, listen very good. Watch this. Male and female created he, them. Who was that? Yes. Okay, so follow me again. Slow it down. Read it from the top. Bring it out. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Huh? In the image of God created he him. Adam. Read. Male and female created he them. There were other men and women created along with Adam. Right. Guess what? Right. Adam didn't have a rib. That's why we call him a rib. He didn't have a woman. Right. The Most High created Adam in his image. Right. Adam had rulership over the earth. Right. Adam named the animals. Adam was a god on the earth. That's right. 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 Adam was a god. All nations, male and female, came to Adam to get understanding. That's right. right. That's our forefather. We descend from Adam. Teach. All right. So back to the, the question, which one comes first, the egg or the chicken? No, man came first. That's, That's right. right. You understand? We rule the planet. Now, give me, give me, um, read down where it says, um, and the Lord said it's not good for man to be alone. Watch this. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. So when God created Adam, 
He did when he created man and woman. But Adam didn't have a help meet for him, meaning a good helper. Right? So where did the Most High get this good helper? Because you see he created men and women already. But there's an order to what the Most High God is doing. Right? From the beginning, he set an order up for the black man. We don't, we don't have the order today. We are all out of order. How so? Because we worship women. That's See, right. Whether it's booty worship, whether we see them on TV, like we chasing behind thoughts and all of that, that's out of order. The women are supposed to submit to us. Right. And this is helping you get your understanding together. Right? Read. Verse 19. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them onto Adam to see what he would call them. So that's Adam and his godship, naming all the animals. Read. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. All right, let's jump down to the part. Yep, 21. Verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. So the most I put put Adam to sleep or under anesthesia. Right? Adam, I'm just going, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs. And he took what? One of his ribs. One of his ribs, right? And closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had get, had taken from man, made he a woman. Made he a what? He made a woman. So instead of taking Eve from the dirt like he took Adam, he took Eve from Adam's rib, meaning they're not on the same level. Right. Right. They ain't on the same level. Woman has always come from man. Right. Right. But they'll tell you, like Tupac say, I got my game from a woman, I got my name from a woman. Mm. Right? But that ain't how we rocking out here. That woman got her name from a man. She came from the loins of a man. Right. Right? right. We are, are the rulers of this planet. Read on. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her to the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. All right, so now you got a better understanding where a woman come from, right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.